What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. Unfortunately, I have to present some sad news to you all. Um, a couple of hours ago, we all found out that David Stern, the NBA's longest serving commissioner, passed away at the age of 77 years old. Um, we only came to know that, uh, well, me personally, I didn't know that David had any health issues until about a couple of weeks ago. And I saw everybody sending prayers up to him because it came out that he was ill and, um, you know, his, his health was in danger. And, um, we find out that he passed away today, man. Me being a kid, man, I don't like for real. I remember watching when I fell in love with basketball in the NBA, David Stern was the, was the commissioner. Um, I remember being a kid in the hood and all of us having them same hoop dreams, right? A lot of kids have hoop dreams when we younger. We all want to go to the NBA. We, we imagine ourselves being drafted, right? And you imagine, uh, I did and a lot of other kids in my neighborhood. We all imagine hearing David Stern call our name and us getting the, the hat of our choice or whatever team selected us, selected us. And so I just always remember, not, I always envisioned shaking David Stern's hand and what it felt like to, to have that moment finally come to you, man. And to hear that he, he's passed away, man, it's just, it's sad news. It's, it's, it's terrible, man. Um, the NBA went through a lot of good times under David Stern and a lot of other celebrities are all, you know, sending their well wishes to his family and sending their condolences to him, man. Um, me personally, like I was thinking about how like David Stern came into the NBA in 1984. Um, the same time that Michael Jordan entered the league. So as he entered the, as David Stern was the commissioner, we saw the brand of the NBA become globalized before our eyes. Like the NBA just, it just became humongous, huge under David Stern's watch. And also due to the fact that Michael Jordan was just the most magnificent, uh, the most like, in cap, the most, I guess, dynamic player we had ever, the world had ever seen. Not we, I was young, super young. But um, I'm going to just say y'all some stuff that David Stern has done since being a commissioner, man. Um... What when David Stern became in the when he became the commissioner in 1984, the NBA league revenues were 165 million dollars a year, and the average player salaries were 290 thousand. Right, not bad. However, when David Stern retired in 2013, the league revenues had risen to 5.5 billion a year. So from 165 uh 165 million a year to 5.5 billion a year, that's what the league revenues were were. Uh, when he retired in 2013, and the average salaries for the NBA players became 5.7 million. Like, tremendous, man, what he did for the league and how he, you know, increased the brand of the NBA. Um, like, in 84 also, David Stern inherited an NBA that broadcasts his playoff games on tape delay, right? All the playoff games is always broadcasted on tape delay. Now, the NBA Finals reach fans li live. In 215, yes, 215 countries, and the average franchise in the NBA is worth 1.9 billion. Like you cannot, you cannot minimize his impact at all. Like on the American sports landscape, and also just the NBA in general, man. Like he held it down, and um, it's sad to see him pass away. A lot of players, like I said, I, Shaq put up his picture shaking David Stern's hand. I remember when LeBron got drafted, when D-Rose won his MVP and David Stern presented the league MVP to him at the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. That was a special moment, man. Um, like I said, man, like he helped to grow the game to what it is today. And that's something that I definitely appreciate because I fell in love with the game of basketball and the NBA's brand in itself, man. It always was it was always captivating. It always was entertaining. And it brought me a lot of great moments, sport moments that I will never forget, you know, during his time. And also, this is something that I didn't know. Like, the draft lottery and the dream team, the, the dream team all kicked off. Like, all of that kicked off, all under him. Like, you know what I mean? Like, all of that, man. Like, all of that kicked off under him, the draft lottery and everything. And we've seen it expand and grow since then, man. Um, we Look. I didn't know this. See, I'm going to get you all the facts. David Stern had been hospitalized uh, since a brain. He had been hospitalized with a brain hemorrhage since December 17th. So that's what happened, man. Um, it's just sad, man. It's a sad day for NBA fans, uh, NBA players, and his family of David Stern. Rest in peace once again. But um, 
For sure, man. He always, he ruled with an iron fist, for sure. He never, he ruled with an iron fist, and he came down on players when need to be, when they needed to be, uh, you know, when they needed to be reprimanded or whatever. But um, never going to forget the great David Stern and how he held down the league and how he helped it, helped to grow it today. Um, me and my boy, I remember my boy was always mad. He said, I love David Stern, man. But why he had the veto, the Chris Paul trade, and I'm looking like it dealt with not just David Stern, a lot of other stuff, man, but um, shout out to Stern, man. He held it down, and um, I'm expecting to see the NBA give him a tribute the correct way um, in the next game coming forward. Matter of fact, the Lakers about to play in a minute, so they probably going to do a tribute then, but it's going to be some tributes going forward, I'm sure of it. Machiavelli Mills TV, thank you all for tuning in. Peace.